Hello, Darren with the Tactical Boutique at Plus One. Today we're going to go over how quiet is a suppressor really. We're going to do a 22 rifle and a 22 handgun, which, spoiler, they're very quiet with the suppressors. 9 millimeters, 45s, upper in that. That's where it gets to be not as quiet. It gets suppressed, but suppressors on a rifle and a pistol that are 22 are very quiet. Fun fact, the guy who created suppressors is the, also the guy who created mufflers in case you didn't know that. So we're going to shoot the 22, and Trey has a decibel meter, and as we're talking, as he puts the decibel meter up, I can't see it, but we should be kind of around mid-70s. Gives you a little baseline to understand how loud or quiet something is. So this is my Henry rifle. I'm just going to shoot back there, and you'll notice uh, when we shoot that there's a couple different sound levels. So here we go. All right, Trey, about how high did we get? About 127. 127. All right. So now let's go ahead and shoot. This is a Walther P22. Just in case those of you who are wondering, this is pre-ban for Walther P22 in Connecticut. So I got this uh, way back prior to the first ban, the ban these, and this is registered, just in case y'all are wondering. You can get this type of gun without the threaded barrel in Connecticut legally, and I would prefer the Ruger, just on another side note. So, nice little thumb safety. We are live, here we go. Did I mention I prefer the Ruger? I don't know if you saw those failure to feed. All right, that one is now empty. How high did we get on that? 125. 125, okay. So, now we will go ahead and put, I have an Element 2 by Advanced Armament. And we're gonna put that on the Henry. It doesn't look like much, but with this being a lever action, you lose a lot of the noise that would happen when the slide would fly open on a semi-auto. So this is going to be very, very quiet. Here we go. One more. All right, we're empty. How high did we get on that? For that one, highest 100, but stayed consistent in 99. All right, very good. And not for nothing, the uh, tink from the steel back there is probably going to be contributing to that. For ammo on this, I'm using CCI uh, subsonic, so CCI Quiet 22. And for ammo on the Walther pistol, I'm using a Gila, which is not subsonic. And the reason I chose not to use subsonic, you'll notice that I was having problems with failure to feed. It's going to get even worse when you have a lower power ammo. So, knowing that about this gun, I just didn't want to have a failure to feed on every single, every single round there. How high did we get? 112, 106. All right, all right. So you can see the difference between the suppressors on a rifle, on a handgun, and this is very doable without ear protection 
when it's suppressed. This is also rather doable, uh, especially when you're not in an enclosed unit. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a great day.